This is in addition to the contract for New York City, you will get this booklet. I've made some page copies for you. It's called Citywide Behavioral <coughs> Expectations, bless you, to support student learning. Okay? And um, I also want to give you, I mean, just take a look. It's all together in the full booklet, there's like 35 pages. This is a copy of a, a suburban school district's code of behavior. Much simpler, right? A little more succinct. I made a couple of copies here, which I want to go over this with you as well. Okay, so. Um, we are down. We're not going to go on much longer because it's almost 3 o'clock already, but I just want to go over a couple of key points, all right? Huh? Uh, who needs him over there? Does this young man have one over there? Okay. And I use that term earlier. <laughs> okay. Take a look at the suburban one. Okay. This is one of the legal things that you have, whether it's in New York City or in the suburbs. Okay. You're going to get a booklet of the code of conduct. The child and the parent have to sign it. That's a very important legal thing. Once it's signed, they know what the uh, behavior rules are and what the consequences are. So take a look at this little one here real quick. Consequences for inappropriate behavior. Okay, this is, this is simple to read. And at the end of the booklet, if you saw the back of it, see, so just turn to the back. Very simple. It's signed. Okay. Now this page here is kept on record by the school. So legally, okay. Wow. If uh, Johnny, um, you know, um, steals money or something, okay. It's, it's in this contract that the, the child and the parent sign. Just quickly take a look at this booklet here too. These are some pages from the New York City uh, Behavioral Booklet. As I said before, the emphasis now is not to suspend children. But that's not your decision. That's the principal's decision. Okay? Um, when you have more time, look at page four in the gray box there, uh, determining disciplinary uh, response. A kid could commit the worst crime that you might think of, but they might say, whoa, the kid's age, his maturity level, he's under a special um, educational form, okay? Um, I wish we had time to, this is a whole course here. Turn to the next page, five. In the gray box there also very specifically when the misbehavior uh, where it took place okay like during the school day uh, what part of the school okay turn to page nine all right here they have this two concepts now in New York City as far as behavior modification one is from the guidance approach. One is from the disciplinary, disciplinary approach. Okay? If we had time. Um, and then uh, turn to page 19. Um, in this New York City booklet, this is, I mean, they get very specific. 
like what weapons are, okay? This category one, category two. What? I, okay, switch play. What is, uh, here's one I do not know. What is a gravity knife? It, it's switch blade. switch blade. But it says here, switch blade knife, comma, gravity knife. That's it doesn't have a spring. So uh, okay, see, I learned something. And then um, turn to page 26. They will have like an infraction. In the New York City code book, they have every infraction. It goes to like 60 infractions. They have the guidance approach and the disciplinary approach to the infraction. Something simple, B4, okay, being late for school. So if that's the infraction, only letters A to E can be used, all right? Um, this goes on and on. Um, let's get to one of my favorites here. Look at B50. And I don't mean bingo. B50. Starting a fire. How was your day in school, Johnny? Oh, pretty good. I started a fire. Great. What was the guidance approach that was... Uh, Oh, they contacted, I mean, I'm being facetious here, but you get an idea, okay? Um, it's 3 o'clock. Does anyone have a question? I do have one thing to tell you, a quick story. I don't like it. Yes. <laughs> uh, going for jury duty? Anybody been jury duty yet? Okay. You don't? Okay. This is a criminal case. I'm, I'm yeah, like, asking questions. Both attorneys had some questions being on a jury. You get the whole background, you know, principal, whatever it might be. So I'm in the jury box and I'll understand the, jur the judge is here, the two attorneys, and the judge says, hold it, stop it. He cannot be on the jury. Just look at me. Just why not? Okay. I was one of your former students. <laughs> and then I saw I was walking out and said, by the way, you owe me homework. <laughs> Does that like no question. any questions? Thank you for coming today. If any of you need any help, we're raising it. Okay, once again, we just have a few announcements. We want to thank both of our speakers today. Sure. professional development workshops, you can contact anyone on the e-board. There's four of us in here. Kim is a co-president, Della is our secretary, and Bianca is our vice president. Or you can speak to me, I'm another co-president. Or you can email us at the email located on your agenda. Um, it includes anyone who is prospective or already inducted into CAPA. So if you haven't been inducted yet, you are still eligible to co-lead. Um, we also want you to look out for your emails, you usually receive them from Olivia, or sometimes you might receive emails from the questions for CAPA Gmail. That is to anyone who's prospective and current who's interested in getting more involved with CAPA. For right now, be on the lookout for Literacy Alive and Light It Up Blue Committee emails. If you're interested in joining either of those committees, please apply online through the CAPA ADA website. And we have upcoming events. We have our Valentine's Day Bake Sale and Jar of Hearts event, which is taking place on February 11th. If you are interested in baking or volunteering, you can contact us at Questions for Kappa. We have SOE Game Night. We're going to the men's basketball game versus DePaul with the Dean, and that will be taking place on February 17th. There's the Red Storm Rally in Tafner, and there's an 8 o'clock game time in Karnasaka. And we want you to also be aware that executive board applications to apply to be on the e-board for the Kappa Eta chapter are going to become available March 2nd. 
So if you have no further questions, make sure to look out for us on social media and email us if you have anything. Oh, please turn in the survey. <laughs>